Yeah, we're inside the last 14 minutes of the Sports Mag Zone for this Tuesday, and we're going to talk some cricket now. Not many bowlers can boast of taking 400 first-class wickets, but one Leeward Islands bowler has joined that elite list. Rakeem Cornwell took his tally past the 400 mark during the Hurricanes' four-wicket win over the TNT Red Forest in round three of the West Indies Championship, which concluded on Saturday. The 31-year-old, who is loved by cricket fans all over the world, joins us now on telephone to discuss the outstanding feat he has. Rakeem Jimbo Cornwall, welcome to the Sports Max Zone. Really, really great to have you on the show for the first time, I think. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me. Can I ask you something quickly first, though? Because Kofi James is your teammate from the Leeward Islands, also Antigua and Liberta Blackhawks. We had him on a show here late last year, and he said Liberta Blackhawks is the best team, is the best club in the world. Is he serious? <laughs> Do you agree with him? Uh, I won't say the world, but uh, for sure is the best club in the Leeward Islands. I um, yeah. think we have a few international players from the Liberty Black Ox. I yes. um, think we have dominated cricket in Antigua for a number of years. Yes. Well, Kofi James is a good guy, isn't he? Yeah, he's a good guy, young, upcoming cricketer. Yes. We just want to wish him all the best and see how far he can go in his career. OK, well, let's talk about Jimbo now, um, Rakim. 400 first-class wickets. Um, what does this milestone mean for you? Uh, it means a lot. Um, once you get a milestone like that, it's something that you have to cherish. Um, every cricketer have, might not reach a stage to play first-class cricket or even jump to get 400 first-class wickets. It's something that I have worked hard for over the years and to... A lot of tough times, had a lot of good times also, but I'm just happy that I get to that milestone. Yeah, and Rakeem, you know, now that you said that, I'm thinking about reflecting and reflecting on your career so far. What has been the most special moment for you? Uh, the most special moment for me was making my test debut. I um, think I was knocking on the door for a while and finally get the call and i just really happy that I play Test cricket. Yeah. Do you sometimes feel as if you wish you would get the opportunity to play a bit more? Yeah, I I I I would say that. Um on the other hand, I think getting to play test cricket is an honor and getting to play for the West Indies because everybody that play regional cricket, I guess that's their hope to play test cricket and a few get through and I am one of the few that I get through and I really thankful for that. Yeah, and you've also been the captain uh, of the Leeward Islands for this competition, the regional competition. How much are you enjoying, you know, leading this team and working with this crop of players? I, I enjoying it so far. Um, it's a group of guys that are willing to work hard. Um, the, the board asked me to lead this group and, and I take it up and I think we have a good chance to to go for a far in this tournament and try and win this tournament. Yeah, and Rakim, you also have been leading by example. You've had some brilliant performances. Uh, just recently, that one-handed low catch that you had off of your own bowling, it's been trending all over. You know, it's it's a class moment. That's what we describe it as here on the Sportsmax. So and talk to me about that catch and, you know, just the entire moment. Uh, it was... It was... <laughs> Actually, it was kind of, it's a, I would put it down as a, as a good catch. Um, I just see the ball and react to it. Um, and I just, eventually the ball will stick there. Wow. Yeah, um, Rakim, based on the tournament so far, still a lot of uh, cricket left to be played in the uh, West Indies Championship. But the Hurricanes have been reasonably consistent. We see the Volcanoes 3-0 and at the moment. Um, how optimistic are you that the, the Leewards can, can pull this title off? Very much. Um, I think we, we still have a, lot, a long way to go. Um, we don't really want to get complacent or try to get ahead of ourselves. We just want to take it one game at a time, um, try and tick each boxes as we go. 
each team have is a is a different challenge. So we just have to stay focused and, and always up for the task to, to go out there and fight for the league with Iron. And as far as the development of West Indies cricket is concerned, how much are you embracing the fact that the first class season now has more teams and uh, well more matches, uh, more matches in the sense of more more teams that you will play against? Because there are times when we have had um, extended tournaments with two rounds and so on. But there are more teams in the championship this time, and I guess it's it's better for the development of our players, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is a good is a good move by the board because um playing more cricket is only getting you better and better and players have more opportunities to to score more runs, get more wickets and is I think it's going to improve our longer version of the game playing against other test nations. We know the amount of cricket they play in their domestic tournaments. So it's just our guys now just have to get the mindset and relish these extra games and know what they need to take out from those games to go to international cricket. Yeah, and I referenced your Liberator Blackhawks team in Antigua earlier on. Uh, domestically, it is generally felt that throughout the Caribbean that is part of the problem, that there isn't as much cricket being played or there isn't as much love for cricket domestically in the various territories as, as, there, as there would have been maybe 40 or 50 years ago. Uh, can you talk to us briefly about the domestic game in Antigua and Barbuda and how satisfied are you that it is unearthing talent and, and bringing new players into the system? Yeah, we, the, the cricket in Antigua is we, we, we have a lot of tournaments. Um, the, standard, the standard is okay. She's not something that we can shout about but it's it's growing you have a lot of room for improvement but the the main fact is that you have a lot of tournaments so teams playing every weekend competing against each other and i think you can only get better yeah but once you play more cricket then the competitive part will continue and find itself that teams want to say okay we're coming up against liberty this weekend we want to beat them because they're the champion <laughs> and then teams will start to put together players and start to groom young players coming through to, to say, okay, let me lift the standard. And I think you can only get better from there. All right. Well, Rakim, great talking to you here. I must tell you that my favorite all-time moment in the history of CPL cricket was your, your drop back for the Royals against the St. Kitts and Nevis <laughs> Patriots. I, that's, that's indelibly written in my mind and uh, an unforgettable moment. And you supplied it. Uh, thanks, thanks a lot, sir. And uh, we'll continue to watch your career and see what happens from here. All right, thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man, Rakeem, Jimbo Cornwall. We'll be back to put the wrap on the Sports Mat Zone with our interactive segment on the other side of the break.